The impossible has happened from five years ago, and that is D&D is so cool that Old Spice has attached itself to it in a fog miasma of healing, perhaps, because they've created a new character called the Gentleman. And I have his character description here. It's very long. It's four pages long, uh, which is about on par with what you get in the player's handbook. Um, if I were to describe this kind of character, he would be a bard slash cleric with just way too many OP powers uh, because it is kind of crazy. So every time the gentleman levels up, something ridiculous gets added. There is no way any kind of respectable DM would accept this player into his game. Look how cute he is with his three-headed puppy and looks like a sword, but the sword it has a second hand on it holding a bouquet of flowers, presumably for you. Uh, the one who is being wooed or perhaps the monster is being wooed. I'm not 100% on how this works, even though I've read the whole thing. So um, as we go through this, yes, this is another. <laughs> One, so I think the the lady elf in there, the lady elf fighter, I would say, seems to be in his party, not the one that he has vanquished. That is a dragon. Um, and he, I, I will mention this, he can turn into a dog at one point. How does this make any sense? It doesn't, because as I said before, reading this, there are things in here no DM would ever allow in the game, which are, there's generally rules in here that say like, the gentleman is allowed to ignore the DM and just make a fool of him and do whatever the hell he wants. The DM, while ideally neutral, is, should always be in control of what is happening. Um, for instance, they have a power called something dumb. The gentleman may change one thing in the game that has no effect on actual game plan. The GM must allow it. If that's confusing, here are some examples. The gentleman may put clown shoes on a party member, turn a troll's hands into hard shelled tacos, turn all the plants into a beige color, etc. These effects last for the duration of the session. It's like, okay. Uh, there are different levels he goes up in. Some of my favorites are at the fifth level. He develops the skill, I'm on a horse where he can make a horse appear under him, just magically appear like in the commercials with Isaiah Mustafa. Those were cool and they were also a tie dad. Um, for some reason, he also seems to be in college because he has an, a, an ability called bachelor's in marketing where he gets an accredited college diploma that where he learns how to I, essentially barter better. Uh, he goes on at one point to be able to create pleasurable smell and the smell can heal a companion 1d6 health or 1d12 nose stuff. Uh, and then they have to be within the smelling range of the gentleman at the GM's discretion. Spoiler alert, the GM will not allow this. Uh, at the 11th level, the gentleman can turn into a wolf dog and the wolf dog has the powers of the wolf and the powers of a businessman because he can talk and ace any difficult business situation. That is a verbatim quote. He goes on to be able to change his clothes. And then at one point at the 15th level, he has an ability called matrimony where he can marry a humanoid monster and be bonded to them forever, which is bizarre. You're gonna marry an aberration, a troll, a dragon, why would you do this? Is this a commentary on women? I don't think it is, but I also think it doesn't make sense. Um, especially with the picture with the lady elf who seemed to be in his party. So at the 19th level, he can get an MBA, which is just an extension of the bachelor's in marketing. And for some reason at level 20, he turns into a being of pure energy and can explode anything at will. I don't know what that has to do with deodorant or business or wooing women, but it's in there. It looks rather fun, um, but I think you'd have to play it in a game where everyone is a gentleman because it's just a, such a ridiculous class. It's bard times a million plus cleric, I guess, in here. It's, uh, it's cute though, and it, it also, it's interesting to see this because if we had looked five years in the past, there's no way this would have happened. D&D &D was not cool enough, uh, but now it is. And I think that's a very, I, I'm into that. I'm, I'm interested and I think it's a good sign of things to come, I hope. 
audience, would you play as the gentleman? And do you think, do you think D and D is cool enough now? Please let us know on Facebook and Twitter.